give him all the buckets that you have. Our visit came as volunteers of the Cayman National Cultural Foundation. She is dying to back. Prepared Mind's Eye. Sweep, 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 sweep. Miss Lassie's home for Christmas. You helping me sweep? It's an annual tradition now that pays tribute in so many ways. This was such an important part of, of the whole Christmas, the preparation, getting our yards ready. I, I guess some of it was stereotypical in that we always heard about the white Christmases. So you thought you had to have a white Christmas, and of course, our substitute was our white powdery sand. Just beat it in now. Pretend you're a turtle. There you go. And feel it, they are. Oh, it is heavy. Volunteers and staff members working oh, together on a December yeah. morning. Put it, put it on your head, Lily. We're actually doing a reenactment of Christmas of yesteryear. The hat is ever so important to protect us from the sun because it's important for us to not only remember, but to make it so clear and so tangible that our youngsters, our youth, the people who were not exposed to this in their real life, we want them to taste it, to feel it, to really get into it. But you wanted your yard to have the whitest sun. Rita's job this day is to rake the yard. We're reminding people the days when most everyone who had a sand yard would do everything possible around Christmas time to ensure that their yard looked the best. And ensuring that Christmas morning you had a beautiful white sand yard. All your conch shells were lined up perfectly, cleaned. All the bush had been pulled um, for the wattle and daub. The white lime had been mixed. Your walls would have been painted with it so that you just had the most festive looking yard, clean and bright, perfect for Christmas time. You didn't get up top. There may be no one better equipped to talk about why the whole lot is going to come out. than CNCF Director Henry Mutu. And you'll see, of course. Because it's not just about keeping the house in good shape for future generations. It's upholding the tradition of hard work, of cleanliness. So symbolically, this is, it, it, it's, it's, it's very important for us. Um, at the foundation, but for the, for the country as a whole. Gwen Richard. Miss Lassie is the late Gladwin Bush. Filled with the need to express herself at the age of 62, she painted anything and everything she could find. Her art tells not just her personal story, but it captures the strength of her faith and the challenging reality of life in the Cayman Islands during her lifetime. I mean, the paintings were, were biblical um, when you look at them visually, but there was a deeper meaning beyond that about family and about all the struggles she went through. I mean, you see a painting where Jesus says, peace be still, and it, I call her work prayer canvases because basically I think that what she was doing all the time by these, getting these visions and, and saying her prayers or praying is that she was asking God to calm her, to keep her healthy. Henry Mutu and the Cultural Foundation ensured her work and the story of her life were spread, not just around the Cayman Islands, but around the world. Her home was put on the World Monument Watch List and today provides an education resource for local children and visitors alike. All we did was to try to get her work out to people and to tell them about the significance of the work beyond just pieces of paintings or the significance of the house. If you were to take a single unit to talk about Caymanian culture, heritage, arts, traditions, and so on, it's all here. If you only had this house to use and Miss Lassie's life and work, then I think you had everything. And that everything is woven together like a tapestry, from the artifacts in the home to the paintings with the colors she loved, connecting us to the sea that was our lifeblood in the Cayman Islands over the years. All of our paintings, you know, there's the sea there, the colors, blue is our favorite color, blue and white. And if you look out there, you'll see the sea, and it's basically several tones of blue and white. So and she lived right here all her life. She died at 89, was born in this house, and uh, she always used to say to me, she, she wants to be to stay in here to die and be, and be taken from here, and that's exactly what happened. Lean that down and use your hand. And so each year, volunteers come to Miss Lassie's house and prepare it for another year. So we're going to pile it up. A simple tradition in some ways, but deeply connected to the culture, heritage, and history of the Cayman Islands. Look at that. We is enjoying our morning. Enjoying our